So this is nice, isn't it? <laughs> yes. It's just you, me, and the darkness that surrounds Hangouts. <laughs> oh, wait. No, it's not just you and me. It's you, me, and me. Oh, yes, of course. Hello. <laughs> Would you care to, do you care to introduce... Uh, do you care to introduce our guest, Blotly? Um, I can't, because she doesn't talk. She just well, furiously she... masturbates without us knowing. Oh. I see. Yeah, he reminds me a lot of you. <laughs> we talked about this. <laughs> That's not something we're supposed to talk about here. <laughs> I thought I was perfectly clear about that. There is no here. This is the oh. void. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, in yes. that case, <laughs> might as well say hello and welcome to the second season of the AC Mino podcast. What the also fuck is the that council. shit? <coughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. Where am I? <laughs> 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 suck down a crumb. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> Isn't this exciting? Oh, uh, yeah. Quality, quality conversation yeah. right here. Yeah, yeah. Is just by hit, on hitting it back. There and goes like, yes. Hitting it back just really hard. You know, just... <laughs> exactly. Uh, oh, God. Anyways, um, so it's just the two of us for this one. Yeah. Um, well, no, the three of us remember because there's there's oh, a, <laughs> there's me, you, and Blobby. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's me, you, and Brandon. Ah, he sounds lame. Why did you bring him here, Blobby? I didn't. He usually finds himself here. Oh. So, um, <laughs> yep. Season two. Uh, season one was probably like the shortest season of anything, except of course if you count. We had like the... we had like eight episodes, didn't we? Oh, don't forget, we had that one lost episode that never Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, where we, uh... Oh, yeah. Um, that... During the conversation, I decided to, um, take various, uh, cherry bombs. Oh, uh, yes, And then of toss them outside my window, and then one of them actually exposed a pipe. And then the oh, pipe shit. led yeah, to right. the, yeah, that's right. Right, yeah. To the, uh, town water pipe, and then apparently <laughs> I poisoned it or something like that, and we have that had water for about... A year now? Didn't Cass, like, get his dick stuck in a toaster? No, that's every other day. Oh, okay. I don't know if he's still doing it. It's been a while. <laughs> um, so, we're going to be doing a little bit... We're, we're going to be doing some things differently. Okay. Uh, first of all, and I'm talking to you, yes, Carter, but I'm talking to everybody else that's listening. First of all, we're not going to have, like, five-plus people in a call anymore. Because oh. I can't think of it. Shut up. I can't think anymore. <laughs> and every time we were like, here's the objective. And then we go on to like, some other crap. And then we have somebody saying syndicate all the time. And, you know. <sighs> so we're going to be, we're going to probably like keep it to like two, maybe three people. We might be like, um, we're going to be shifting out uh, people. But the main two are going to be me and Carter. Because uh, why not? Um, so yeah, that's one thing. Second thing, um, well, it looks like Brandon left. Good. He <laughs> smells weird. <laughs> um, second thing, um, we're probably going to be changing up when the podcast is uploaded. Um, as you're listening to this, this is the 25th of May, so this is going to be coming out, um... A week later, so when I go and look over at my calendar on the so other screen, get, that so I have, get your time machines, everybody. You know, you know where you gotta go. Um, expect something to expect for this to be on the first of June. So we'll be doing like we'll be doing that basically. We'll record a week in advance, and uh, that means that you will not be able to yell at us when we are <laughs> a, a week late of stuff. Um, <clears throat> trying to think what else. Uh, third thing. Uh, every now and then we might do some announcements for the Amino community, but that's just going to be a small amount. And finally, um, we're thinking of 
doing some other projects for the channel that this is currently being uploaded on. Um, that's still being worked on, as in it's not being worked on at all, but <laughs> <laughs> um, it's being worked on. We're gonna we're figuring out how to do some things, and uh, it's not gonna be just specifically AC Amino YouTube, or is it not gonna be specifically an AC YouTube, but it's gonna be a YouTube channel. So yeah. All right, um, Carter, how are you? Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, my hands are completely stiff. I had to fucking my my, my dad's landlord hired me to help him move some giant ass plywood shit into his house oh and no, so now manual I, labor <laughs> i can't move my fingers without agonizing pain because the the skin is so rough from <laughs> that's why you do finger stretches my man you're a finger stretch <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> Okay, well, that makes me we feel make, so much better about we myself. We make funny jokes on the show. So much funny jokes. Yes. Funny. So, the community's been a little lackluster. It's yeah, like, well, that's a problem with everything. Um, well, apparently because it's finals. Everyone's got finals. Yeah. Well, once, sense. once it hits summer break, I guarantee everyone's just going to be staying I've, on. <laughs> I kind of stopped paying attention to public school schedules because <laughs> I'm in college. Yeah. And um, I got out like two weeks ago, I think. Was it two weeks ago? <laughs> I want to say, no, it's, it's been a week. Um, ah! So, I mean, I wasn't really paying that much attention as I should have been, but hey, I'm head leader. <laughs> I just tell what people... What's tell two plus two? Quick, go. Uh, Four. Wrong. <laughs> Damn it. Now Bald is going to come after me. I hate that game, by the way. I only played nine minutes of it, and I hate that game. I hate that game. I hate horror <laughs> games in general, but I hate that game. One, I should not be that scared of it, but two, I just hate it. Three, four, four. You did it. <laughs> my name's Laura. <laughs> All right, well... To get started with this stuff, um, I'm going to go over a couple things that may be of interest that I have seen when I typed in Google uh, Assassin's Creed news, mm -hmm. just because I have no nothing else to talk about really except for what other people are talking about. Assassin's Creed is a video game. <sighs> um, <laughs> like, comment, on the, subscribe. Uh, on uh, the Assassin's Creed website for Ubisoft, uh -huh. which is basically Ubi Ubisoft's website for Assassin's Creed, Ubisoft. Uh -huh. um, they have an article that is titled, This Month in Assassin's Creed Origins, dash if there's, May. Is there a Ubi hard? Oh my... Very serious questions. <laughs> the true two genders, you be soft and you be hard. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, well, in this whole article titled uh, This Month in Assassin's Creed Origins, <laughs> yeah. they just basically, uh, I guess this, this article is just basically like a... Uh, um, a revisit to a lot of the stuff that happened. So, uh -huh. here we go. I'm going to read this word for word. This month marks half a year of Assassin's Creed Origins. Let's celebrate by looking back at some of the major content drops for the game. Before jumping into the animus, let's look at the month of May. Okay. I hate that, <laughs> first of all. Before jumping into the animus, before getting started... <laughs> Fuck the modern day. Just the animus. <laughs> all day. We have a metal claw that straps to your thighs. Let's <laughs> run. All right. So first thing it says, title update. This month we'll be deploying a new title update for our players. Amongst bug-fixing efforts, because everybody needs to do that, we'll be implementing the Brazilian-Portuguese language pack for the Discovery Channel. Discovery Channel. Discovery Tour. 
Yes, Mythbusters are going to be getting Brazilian <laughs> Portuguese language packs. <laughs> so good news if you're Brazilian and speak Portuguese, which most likely you do, um, you'll be able to understand everything now um, <laughs> in the Discovery Tour. Too bad, apparently, they don't have it for the regular game, which is the regular game. But if you just want a virtual museum, now you can listen to it. All right. <laughs> the Discovery Tour annoys me because I like the idea, but the problem is it sounds like I'm just sitting in class with the boy. <laughs> <laughs> like, they, they advertise Welcome it like it was this big interactive experience. <laughs> right. Please it's, follow the markers. They should. They, I know everyone has said this at one point, but they should have gotten the guy to voice as Sean. They should have had Sean. <laughs> yes, I would have loved to have Sean tell me everything and even <laughs> add him his in, add in his sarcastic. <laughs> I miss Sean. Ah, yes. stupid fork. I haven't eaten yet, so sorry if there are moments where I'm stopping and I'm chewing very loudly into the microphone. <laughs> um, so yeah, if um, you're Brazilian and you speak Portuguese, they're adding in Brazilian Portuguese into the Discovery Tour, so if you want to go through that and then... What if you're Portuguese and you speak Portuguese? So moving on... <laughs> um, they also talk about the trial of the gods. They're giving the schedule for the different gods. So um, May one through eight, we already did that. May eight. Okay, I'm just gonna go to the ones that we need to talk about. <laughs> um, since this is coming out next week, I'm gonna yeah. talk about what's happening next week. So next week they're going to have Anubis on normal difficulty and then Sekhmet on hard difficulty. So Fucking if you guys hyenas. haven't done anything with that yet... Oh my god. Um, <laughs> I then, hate uh, hyenas. Just realize Anubis is going to be normal and then Sekhmet is going to be difficult. Very difficult. Uh. Alright. <clears throat> so now they go into a look back to everything. So they talked about... Um, that major content drops were released. If you don't know what they are, they're called the Hidden Ones and the Curse of the Pharaohs because I don't know why nobody else would know about that. Um, <laughs> and they also go on to talk about the Discovery Tour Horde Mode and was Control Panel for C per PC. I can't speak anymore. And uh, free quests including, but not limited to, the Final Fantasy 15 and HBO <laughs> Time Quest. <laughs> I've not I played very... Final what? Fantasy 15. I, Jacob has. I, I haven't. Is that ever explained? Like, what the fuck that that guy was doing there in the fucking... Like, is that I've a... I've never played Final Fantasy either, so I have no idea. <laughs> um, so that's just, you know, whatever. Um, All right. And then it also goes on to talk about, um, you helped shape the game by helping us understand that we want new game plus mode, HDR support on PC, enemy auto-scaling and nightmare difficulty, oh Christ, <laughs> added an interface to toggle by its hair and beard, which is the most important update on this entire list. I mean, of course. Changed the infamous blue tools icon to legendary to appease our players. Okay, <laughs> and plus tons of additional quality of life changes. I love I love how the they use the word appease as if they're fucking quaking in their boots at the. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just like sitting in their office. They get like they get a fucking email <laughs> demanding that the colors get changed, and they just shit their I fucking. I swear, hands. the next time that I saw like sleeping darts for the only time that I ever used them, which is like once, <laughs> I want it to be gold. I don't like looking at blue while everything else is gold. <laughs> so. They they get they get an e they get like one email that says they want it to be green. <laughs> <laughs> I want one to be green, another to be red. I want this one to be marigold. Have you ever heard of the shade called indigo? <laughs> indigo. Um, 
So yeah, that was the looking back and stuff. And now they're at the bottom of this um, entire article. They talk about uh, the community achievements, apparently, that went on. I've never heard of this, but they're giving some statistics. So the first one is the community achievement deadly assassin. Noob Slayer 69 slayed 69 noobs. Oh, yeah, radical <laughs> surge. Um, so apparently the total kills... Uh-huh. Have been over fifteen billion. Damn. Um, and they decided to add in a tagline that says, "That's more than twice the population of Earth." Thanks. <laughs> Didn't we need to realize how many people we've killed over? <laughs> Thanks, um, Ubisoft. But here's actually here's uh, something interesting. I'm gonna read this, read this from right to left because it, there's a percentage of numbers there that I actually want to talk about real quick. Uh, okay. So, of these kills, 1.88 percent are by fire. Okay. Um, two point twenty nine percent are by bleeding. Okay. Two point forty five percent are by poison. And then fourteen point seventy six percent are of assassinations. Aren't these all assassinations? I don't know. <laughs> that's inter- that's interesting to me because you know Assassin's Creed. <laughs> built up on the idea of running up behind somebody or jumping down onto somebody and then stabbing them and instantly killing them. It doesn't go to this game just because of the whole ranking system they have in here. You can't instantly stab people. Yeah, you know that... I mean, I get why, but it's like, there really isn't a stealth thing in Origins, is there? Mm. Like, at, at, at least for the main targets. It really is just run up and fucking kick the shit out of them. <laughs> yeah. It's just Bayek runs up, tackles them, and starts kicking them with his son. <laughs> this is for my son. <laughs> May the hidden one guide you. <laughs> you Did somebody say son? <laughs> oh, hi, Deadward. <laughs> um, there have apparently been over 645 million quests completed. Ah. Okay. <laughs> and um, <laughs> apparently everybody, the collective community has traveled around over, excuse me, over 3 billion kilometers. And they also needed to let us know that that's more than enough to get you to Saturn and back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. And in other words, you can just circumnavigate the Earth roughly uh, 75,000 times. Oh. Uh-huh. So, uh, yeah, how, that's what's How going long on is with... that in Chili Dogs? 24. <laughs> um, 24. So yeah, that's, what's, uh, that's just a little bit of uh, this month in Assassin's Creed. A little update they're giving. I need to cough real quick. <coughs> <coughs> okay. How dare. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> so that's one thing. Um, you know, I forgot to add in uh, what we wanted to talk about with the uh, the rumors of the new Uh-oh. PC. My bad. <laughs> well, since you brought that up, you can talk about it if you want to. If you. Have uh. Well, I, I me personally, I, I have a. I have a false until Ubisoft says true policy when it comes to rumors. So, like, every everyone who comes up with the, the vague evidence of, like, there's an Assassin's Creed listing on a, on a Walmart site, but it's spelled wrong without the apostrophe. Ergo, that means new game confirmed 2018. I'm like, okay. Didn't they, uh... No, no, they didn't confirm it. Never mind. I was about to say... <laughs> but don't didn't they say it's 2019? Aren't they taking we're, another year off? We're ta- we're removing the apostrophe from the title. We really think that's a, that's one of the biggest issues that's been facing our series lately. <laughs> um, I think the only real convincing one I've seen is this, like, I guess leak, quote unquote, of a map of it's like a section of Greece. And it's like the exact style of the Origins map. 
Ignore the fact that all the lines are completely <laughs> identical to the uh, no, 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 it, and the lines. And no, the it is like a legitimately unique like geography. I'm, I'm saying like the style of the map itself. Oh. Like it's got like the same kind of t- like textures and backgrounds and shit. Well, I mean, it makes sense. I'm guessing they're continuing the story with uh, what's her face and the animus that she uses. So it's still the same <laughs> operating system. Generic modern day character. Why a um, big bot? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you cannot lie about it. <laughs> I know I saw on the Amino at one point that there was a, a picture of like just uh, it, it's not it wasn't detailed picture it was just basically the entity picture like it uh-huh. had all the buildings and everything mapped out the uh, yeah. character just standing there yeah i think that like but um i somebody else made a mention that since of because of the uh pc toolbar that they were able to make um uh-huh. they're able to make it look like that or yeah. just or somebody just like messed up. Okay, you're not a good conversation. <laughs> I'm letting you talk. Yeah. So, I think my favorite quote unquote leak that I've seen so far, it it was this one. Maybe I don't know if you can like find it and put it on screen or something. But it was like this one, uh, supposed screenshot of like this. It was like an early build of Athens or some shit, but it it was it like it was like such a low quality. Like it looked like one of those bad, like like purposefully bad, like creepy YouTube animation. Like you know what I mean? The thing I was just talking about, yeah. <laughs> and it's like it looked it, it, like the world looked like it was made out of play doh. That's that's how, how that was the quality of this quote unquote screenshot. And like, <laughs> and people were calling this like a real like a. Re- <laughs> um, let me see if I can find it. People were calling this like, oh, it's a leak, but it so obviously was not, and it wasn't. It was just some like modeling student who just kind of made this for a <laughs> class project. He's like, oh yeah, I I just, I just like Assassin's Creed. This is what I based it off of. We literally just went from one topic to the same topic. That's what I was talking about. <laughs> That's literally can... what I was talking about. I was like, the entity mapping and the the, the character is just standing there. And you're like, yeah. But also, did you hear about that? But I'm going to describe it this way. Let me see if I can find the, the fucking screenshot. <clears throat> I'm guessing since uh, Ubisoft has already said that they are wanting to continue doing the ancient world and everything like that that yeah it's very possible that it'll be in greece but you know I can't oh i found Rome. i found the thing hold up let me send it in the ch- <laughs> oh. uh. <laughs> there <laughs> Doesn't that just look so real, Blobby? That's exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> that was literally the uh Yeah, that was that was exactly what I was talking about. Oh god. Now the question is, is that Ezio? <laughs> <laughs> the next game will star Ezio during the American Revolution. But yeah, so I really like the new feature of walking. I like how you can move the stick and you walk. Did you know that you can swing a sword? <laughs> Did you know you can play a video game? Did you know that you can breathe? <laughs> <laughs> so do you think it's going to be in ancient Greece or do you think it's going to be in Rome? Um... Well, again, I have just a, a kind of like don't base anything off of rumors policy, but like everything is all those rumors are pointing to Greece and especially with that like one map. But again, I don't know. 
I'd imagine Greece because that's kind of like uh, that's kind of like the transition between Egypt and Rome, I guess. I, 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 I don't mind. I, well, I kind of mind because I want to go to Rome next, but I don't mind if it's in ancient Greece, but I really want to go to Rome. But, um, I don't know which one they're going to go with. All I know is that Ubisoft's like, we're going to explore the ancient world and then restart the whole origin process of Assassin's Creed. (laughs) We're going to retcon everything. (laughs) All right, well move on a little bit more just a small little thing to talk about i know you don't care about this but i'm just gonna say because Uh, uh, people might be interested in it okay uh rainbow six siege another ubisoft game um uh the new update is going to be taking place in italia it's called the parabellum and it's going to have two new defensive operators but we don't care about that what we do care about is the fact that the new map that they're going to be using called the villa um get this there's an Easter egg on that map. There's a okay. fountain, just like the Villa Aditore's fountain with the assassin symbol on it. Okay. And so that's another Easter egg of assassins created in Rainbow Six. You can look at it on the trailer that they put out for the map. Okay, moving on. Uh, assassin's and, uh... Creed <laughs> Conspiracies. It's a, it's a comic book. Uh, oh, World yeah. War Two. Thoughts? Based on... Well, because that, that book came out in France, like, months ago. Um, oh. Yeah, it, it, I know it's made by the same people who did the Achilles shit. Based on what Aquila? I've seen... You mean but Aquila? Yeah, Aquila? A, it's Achilles. Right, right, it's, 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 Aquilus! I can pronounce it what I want to, and it's real for me! I took Latin. <laughs> ah, okay. um, but, um... How do you pronounce it? Achilles. Achilles. Yeah, but um, or Aquilus. It, it's either way. Oh my god! <laughs> but um, based on what I've seen of it and read, it's really shark jumpy. <laughs> the one thing I remember from the storyline was that it fucking the the guy who's, like, in the Animus reliving this World War II assassin's memories, and the ancestor, their their minds get switched. So, because they've... <laughs> because so they're, Assassin's like... Assassin's Creed took a page from Freaky Friday. <laughs> because, like, yeah, it was like they they both got put in some sort of animus machine, and so because of that, their brains got swapped. Oh my god! So like the the modern day guy, his brain was transported back to the forties, and the guy from World War Two, his mind got sent into the future. And like, what even is this right now? <laughs> I, I, you'd have to look it up. It's really fucking shark jumpy. It's really dumb. I'll click on the link that I got. <laughs> While the Walmart Canada E3 link from a couple weeks ago has us prepared for a potential Assassin's Creed announcement at E3 2018, Games Adaptation Specialist Titan Comics has slyly, is that even a word, announced its own entry in the massive franchise. Say hello to Assassin's Creed Conspiracies, a limited-run comic miniseries launching August 1st. Oh. Conspiracies takes place during World War II, a new setting for the series. If you don't count these weird glitchy moments in Assassin's Creed Unity, and frankly, I don't blame you for trying to put that entire game out of your memory. Oh, oh. shut up. Syndicate was worse. <laughs> t- t- who is this? Games Radar? Games Radar. You need to... Oh, God. I hate you. I hate every video game that was ever made. <laughs> Titan Zone Synopsis. Pong is so in- overrated. <laughs> In the depths of World War II, fresh assassin, fresh assassin. Yo, he's fresh. <laughs> in... <laughs> in West London, <laughs> born and raised on the... 
<laughs> on the London Bridge is where I spend most of my days. Oh, God. In the depths of World War II, fresh assassin Eddie Gorman covers Templar plans to create a devastating new weapon at the dawn of the Atomic Age. Here's a question. Is it called the Atomic Bomb? No, I think that was the Animus machine that he got shoved. It's like a proto-Animus because they couldn't just call it an Animus because the Animus was made in the 80s and they're... It's called this ESO technology that we shove somebody in there and then they become different. Uh. <laughs> the miniseries is penned by Gualme Dorsen. I don't know how to pronounce his name, I'm sorry. With art from Jean-Baptiste Hostache. <laughs> Both creators are French, really. And it's <laughs> already, actually already been released in their native language. So France. <laughs> this summer, however, will mark the first time conspiracies will be available in English. So the rest of the world. As for Titan, you may recognize it as the publisher behind several other high-profile games and comic adaptations, including Wolfenstein and Bloodborne. Personally, I'm looking forward to this. Okay, whatever. It, like, <laughs> Nobody they, asked you. <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to continue reading that. So, I haven't read any of the comic books, so I don't know how to feel about it. I've... I've I've read them. I I like I I have the Ankh of Isis trilogy and the the subject four, and I have most of the the new comics on. They, I'm so annoyed. There's we're only one issue away from Juno dying. Please, we need Juno to die. <laughs> we need to end this arc, man. You don't Hello. understand. I am great. I They've stopped melted. the sun from blowing you up. Give me power. Honestly, we really do just need this arc to end. Like, obviously, it could have ended way better than just shoving it into a comic book that nobody is going to read except the hardcore fans. But it... Yeah. Well, because they've melted this fucking thing so much that it's just... They've just... It's gone so far out of control that they just need to end it so they can start over. <laughs> Just take it out either, back. Either they need to introduce a new enemy, a new yeah. Isu, or they just need to end the series already. I mean, yeah. I love Assassin's Creed a lot. Yeah. I don't know if you know that, but judged by the fact that I'm head leader of a community and I'm making this podcast and I only and know the lore of basically all of Assassin's Creed. And your name and, is Blobby. And my name is Blobby. <laughs> Um, I enjoy a very good story. Yeah. But stories need ends. Yeah. You can't have milking going on for the whole time. Yeah. It's, it's kind of bad that they blew their load already when they were like, wow, Assassin's Creed do, did pretty well. They Let's did. continue with Ezio. <laughs> Even though Brotherhood is, in my opinion, well. It's pretty it's, good. It, 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 it's pretty good. I love how I love how they just kind of talk. They should have taken more stuff. time with it. They just should have taken more time with what they're making. Instead yeah. Instead of going like, hmm, what we if need we... to do a yearly release in order to get more money. What if we kill off Desmond for the thrills and the <laughs> surprise? Our ratings drop instantly. Oh, <laughs> uh, I miss the times when Desmond... I have a me, suggestion. Uh... How about Deadward? <laughs> How did you oh get here? Deadward! Turns well, them all into different. I like this just, idea. It's just I the series either needs to just figure out how to end itself and then move on, or yeah, you know, just introduce a new thing to it because you know even like a whole entire new like rebranding situation, like in like somehow figure out to, how to introduce different y y mm. different dimensions and then. Restart the whole entire Desmond story with Desmond alive again, but this time it does something completely different. I'd be perfectly fine with that. In this I mean, one, he has delicious sex with that. Juno. Not really did a dimension thing, but I mean like... Well, I mean, technically alternate dimensions are canon, because remember there's that one piece of Eden that Ezio came in contact with in order to go to the Soul Calibur crossover. <laughs> We don't talk about that, but there is a piece of Eden that apparently um, <clears throat> messes with the uh, folds of time and whatnot. I was reading about it. Oh, the the Philadelphia experiment thing? Yes, I believe so. So, <laughs> I mean, it can be a thing. 
I love how Obstergo just has a ban on all time travel artifacts because of that one incident. <laughs> Um, I've completely, you know, the one thing that I've completely forgotten about was the Denver situation. I forgot about oh, what happened yeah. at Denver International. Do you remember? Uh, they, it was Altair, they had Altair's Apple, they were like experimenting on it there, and it exploded. <laughs> and it... <laughs> Take that, Colorado! <laughs> <laughs> You and your legalized marijuanas and your fucking and your, mountains. And your square shape. <laughs> Why you gotta be so rectangular? <laughs> so we, and this is gonna be a pretty short podcast, but I mean, we need to keep it under at least like an hour. It's gonna be like 40, 45 minutes. But No, we have to do uh, a 24 hour special. Just That's about all the charity live stream. We don't even have a <laughs> hundred thousand subs yet. Um, but one thing that I do want to talk to you about, um, and this is stemming off of the uh, the vault recordings that you find in Ace in Origins. Okay. And the whole entire thing with uh, Curse of the Pharaohs. Because I I just completed Curse of the Pharaohs, and I'm still confused out of my mind what's going on. <laughs> yeah, they never really did explain why the fuck there's zombie mummies first, going around. First, first, of all, here, first of all, here's what I was hoping. Going back to the Akia, or whatever you pronounce his name is. I, I'm just going to call Akinan. him Achilles. No. Achilles. Oh, okay. oh Achilles. 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 Um, wasn't the artifact that they were... Uh, trying to take the and the Anka Vices. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. thinking too. I was I was thinking that I was like, huh. Wouldn't well, that make the sense? That would make perfect sense because the, the map fucking markers easy. for the different uh, the, the different afterlife places are the Ankh. So why isn't the Anka Vices the actual right? like object they're using? Nope. Peace of Eden. It's I, an apple. I remember <laughs> I remember when fucking you, you remember when that like that first like little intro mission was released, like the little preview where you got into the desert and you have like, oh yeah. shit, there are zombies in this temple out here, and yeah. like you you had to go hunt down the artifact. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be the Ankh. Oh, okay, I, I get it now. I was thinking that too, and then I just go. And then it's just like, it's just a rock. It's just a golden just, rock, and I'm like, I'm just like. Um. By the way, was that ever mentioned again? The Ankh of Isis. No, 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 no! The small little rocket. No, up. nope, not at all. What was that? What was that starting mission then? Starting mission was a piece of crap. You can't. Uh, call, what well, was you that? see, I can't remember it's... what that rule. I can't remember what that rule is. Uh, I, 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 no, 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 no! It's called someone's. Um, I think it's like some, the name of some scientist and revolver. I can't remember, but basically the idea is. is if you introduce a plot point, it has to be used by, like, the second or the third act mm -hmm. or something like that. Like, if you yeah. introduce a gun in the first act, it has to be used by the second act. Ubisoft's oh, yeah. just like, hmm, nope! <laughs> <laughs> what a rock that brings people into, like, a cult state. Nope, throw that back in the dust. Remember. <laughs> I heard some, th like, because apparently there's, like, w there's, like, Easter eggs hidden throughout all the underworlds and shit. Like, well, there's some like hidden binary somewhere, and there's like a, a code, it, 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 a bunch of that kind of shit. Mm. And I've heard people like based on that theorize that like these are all kind of like the gray, you know, like that digital space that Juno is in. But like, wait, wait, we, wait! These are the recordings in the vault, or in the. Uh... In, in Curse of the Pharaohs, there's like a bunch of e there's like a bunch of hidden Easter eggs people have found in all the afterlife maps. Really. And like See, one of I them. Didn't know, because what I was what I was gonna ask was, if since they started introducing like these different like afterlives. Yeah. To, um, not I mean right now all we have are the Egyptian ones. Yeah. The question is the well a couple questions arose for me. It was one. Is there actually an afterlife that exists in this entire franchise? <laughs> Two, if that's the case, then is it based off of like projections of a piece of Eden? Um, like is 
is like does does the piece of eden somehow like connect your mind to like whatever you perceive as the afterlife so like if there's like some like ob- like some mechanism or piece of eden that the isu made that like say no if you are if you are a muslim and then you die do you uh go to the heaven that's you know believed by yeah that religion or if you know everything like you know yeah. If, depending on what your beliefs are and what the culture was like, is like that going to project you into it, or is there like an actual um, afterlife? And then with that, there's one more question: <laughs> Does that mean like the last amount of like a memory that you have or like subconscious that you have get like taken out from your mind and then put somewhere? If that's the case with this afterlife stuff. Because here's the question. Because here's the thing that um, here's the here's the thing that I was curious about the whole time when I was playing Curse of the Pharaohs. Where's yeah. Hemu? Where's Hemu? <laughs> <laughs> well, there was that. There was like that side mission. There, like all the side missions were like Bayek trying to overcome. That wasn't it. No, no. Like I've never seen Hemu anywhere. I. I... Like, Cause I know there like, was one side mission where you kill Septim, Septim, whatever his name is again. Really? Yeah, yeah it was in the. Which one was Tutankhamun? The, the, the Duat. Septimius is in the Duat again. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's one of the side missions. Well, I the, I looked at, like after I completed the whole main quest, I was like. Is Bayek's son show back up in Curse of the Pharaohs? And then I didn't get a straight answer. <laughs> so I'm just like, well, they, Ubisoft had another way to, to help us understand something. And apparently, you know, Bayek goes to the afterlife and never sees his son again. But he sees all these other people, like the important pharaohs and stuff like that. I don't understand what's happening anymore. <laughs> Ubisoft jump the shark again. Oh. There they go. There they go. Oh. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I just, it's just. It, it never did get an explanation, did it? It's just. No. There's, oh, there's afterlife now. With zombies. Okay. <laughs> Why are the pharaohs zombies and not all the citizens? Because they came into contact with the Peace of Eden, I'm guessing. <laughs> they had the most influence over it. Oh wait, no. I think I know. It's it's this thing called the plot syndrome. Um, the plot syndrome basically <laughs> is when you have a story that you need to tell, and there's no other rhyme or reason for it, and you just have to say, "Get over it. This is how it is." Most likely that. <laughs> um. Has so there are like different hidden easter eggs in the different after lives that are from the gray is what you're saying yeah that well like, that was the main th- that was the cause i tried looking this up i tried like looking up is there an explanation people have found <laughs> and the only thing i found is like people have found like hidden binaries in the maps or like in the collectibles or some shit and when it's translated it like it doesn't like say it's the gray, but it's like, oh, this can be interpreted if you consider the. You know, I, I don't know. The problem I have with that is that we're about to wrap up Juno, so it's like. Well, <laughs> what's gonna happen here? Uh, <laughs> I did have the. I mean, before it was like specified that there was the gray, I did have a feeling that um, Desmond was probably gonna be. It was most likely alive. But Desmond. 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 It was Lucy's idea. <laughs> it was Lucy's idea. But, uh, um... Of course, that was somewhat, like, clarified in Syndicate, if you're paying attention. Um... <laughs> now, those recordings in the vault, has there been in a... Like, in those vaults, has, been, has there been a clear explanation of those yet, though? All the glitchy bits are just backwards talk. Oh, so they had an opportunity and didn't take it again. <laughs> I want the cryptid stuff again. I loved AC2 and Brotherhood when they did that. I want that it's, to happen again. It's we- The, uh... 
the temple recordings. It is cuz like 90% of the temple recordings are just a bunch of isu bullshit about how science and philosophy and how your puny human minds were not built to con- it's like it's like shut up and give us our lore. And then, and then yeah. the, like and, that one was like Desmond was this Desmond was that and you killed him just like you. 95 99% of the population didn't even know what Desmond <laughs> was doing this shit um but like there was like the the apparently history is like trying to snap back in place or something because Desmond wasn't supposed to take the route of stopping the apocalypse so now the the ripples in time are trying to warp back and the sun's apparently going to flare again. <sighs> At least that that's what it sounded like to me. And I was like, oh... It sounds to me, when they started like, talking about, like, oh, this is Layla's role in this new arc, it sounds to me like they're going to go back to that... O- that original idea they had with Desmond at the very, very beginning of, like, the bleeding effect gave him time travel powers. Hmm. Because the recordings, like, say, oh, your animus is special, you don't just experience history, you can change, like... Um... (laughs) Oh, my... And (laughs) Nick... You'll be soft getting wibbly wobbly. Ah. Uh, I just, I, I, I really just want the. We gotta go back to the old west to save Doc. Go west, that's, young sir. It's what it's all adding up to. We gotta go save the Doc. He's alive. We gotta go west in and kick the natives out. <laughs> Uh, well, anyways, yeah, time to wrap up. Um, I know this was like a small amount of stuff, but you know, it, start of season two, we don't really have anything going on. Um, and plus, things have been a little bit lackluster since you know, not much is going on in AC anymore. <laughs> um, we'll definitely be back next week, so all right, uh. All right, yes, we might have a yeah, we're guest. I don't this. know. I'm gonna have to talk to people. Um, but until then, we'll see you guys later. All right, season two. <laughs> oh. Yes. Penis. Wait, what? <laughs> All right. See you guys. <laughs>